As the search continues in Texas for those still missing following the devastating flash floods, many are now asking if this weather pattern is becoming the new normal. CNN's Derek Van Dam explains why there's an increase in the number of flash flood emergencies across the U.S. So many unimaginable flash flood events have unfolded across the country recently from the Texas Hill Country where a summer's worth of rain fell from the sky in a matter of hours to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, where up to 10 inches of rain fell equating to roughly a 1 in 1,000 year rainfall event. And then there's Rio Doso, New Mexico, where record river levels prompted flash flood emergencies across the region. So why are we seeing this increase in flash flood events across the country? Well, it's thanks in part to our atmosphere being juiced up by this Bermuda High driving in deep tropical moisture from the south. You're looking at precipitable water. Think of this as the amount of fuel in your car's gas tank. The more fuel you have, the further you can drive. The more precipitable water that the atmosphere has to work with, the more ability it has to produce these heavy rainfall events. And when it falls on a parched, very dry, drought-stricken landscape, just like what's unfolded here recently across the Texas Hill Country in New Mexico, that's a recipe for disaster. We call that weather whiplash, going from flood to drought or drought to flood. So we have had, just since the 4th of July, over 225 reports of flash flooding across 20 separate states. That really puts it into context. This is, by the way, the wettest time of the year. The atmosphere typically, climatologically speaking, has the most moisture to work with between the months of April to September. So we anticipate these flash flooding events to occur. But of course, we've got a warming world to work with, and we have seen a marked increase in not only the intensity, but also the frequency of these heavy rain events, something we can expect to continue into the future. Back to you.